And so on this 15th day of what is considered to be the most important trial of the day, Johnny Cochran has appeared to defend capitalist records. The question now is, will Cochran use his famous Chewbacca defense? What's a Chewbacca defense? I don't know. That's what Cochran used in the O.J. Simpson trial. God damn, I hate that Cochran guy. If he was here in front of me, I'd be like, hey, you stupid son of a bitch. You did, I, I, I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. I'm sure that would scare the hell out of him, Cartman. And so, in summation, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you've heard the version of my client's song recorded over 20 years ago. You've heard the exact same song produced by these cheats in the past month. I'd say it's pretty much an open and shut case. Make the right decision. Thank you. We've got him. Mr. Johnny Cochran, your closing arguments. Ladies and gentlemen of the supposed jury, Chef's attorney would certainly want you to believe that his client wrote Stinky Britches 10 years ago. And they make a good case. Hell, I almost felt pity myself. But ladies and gentlemen of this supposed jury, I have one final thing I want you to consider. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chewbacca. Chewbacca is a Wookiee from the planet Kishik. But Chewbacca lives on the planet Endor. Now think about that. That does not make sense. Damn it. What? He's using the Chewbacca defense. Why would a Wookiee, an eight-foot-tall Wookiee, want to live on Endor with a bunch of two-foot-tall Ewoks? That does not make sense. But more importantly, you have to ask yourself, what does this have to do with this case? Nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, it has nothing to do with this case. It does not make sense. Look at me. I'm a lawyer defending a major record company, and I'm talking about Chewbacca. Does that make sense? Ladies and gentlemen, I am not making any sense. None of this makes sense. And so you have to remember, when you're in that jury room deliberating and conjugating the Emancipation Proclamation, does it make sense? No. Ladies and gentlemen of this supposed jury, it does not make sense. If Chewbacca lives on Endor, you must acquit. The defense rests. Okay, then. Wow, he's good. In a teary-eyed courtroom, Johnny Cochran has just finished his closing arguments, and as was anticipated, he did use the Chewbacca defense. Whether or not it worked is up to the jury to decide. How find you the jury? We find the defendant, Jerome Chef McElroy, guilty as charged. <gasps> Whoops! Whoops! Mr. Chef, you've been found guilty of harassing a major record label. The full fee of $2 million will be handed over within 24 hours. Do I look like I have $2 million? Well, you have 24 hours to find it, or else you'll have to go to jail for 8 million years. It's actually for four years. Oh, sorry. You'll go to jail for four years. This can't be happening. Oh, no, dude. Chef's gonna go to jail. Uh.